Hey, this is Sky with Politics NY. Schneps Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes. And right now I'm with State Senator Kevin Parker, and he's running to be our next New York City Comptroller. We have three minutes to get to know you, Senator. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself first and why you're running for this seat? Well, Scott, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I was looking at your last name. I, I thought it, that it was Kardashian at first, uh, especially with that very stylish uh, fur vest. I really, really love it. Uh, and thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, I'm State Senator Kevin Parker. I represent the 21st District in Brooklyn. I'm the chairman of the Energy and Telecommunications Committee, and I am the majority whip in, in the New York State Senate. Um, the majority whip is, is kind of an oxymoron because I'm in charge of democratic discipline. And as you know, there's... Uh, you know, uh, probably not a lot of democratic discipline that goes along, but that's kind of what I do. And I'm a candidate for city controller. I'm running really because I think that this city needs some help. And I think that my background, my experience, my leadership, but most importantly, my vision um, is going to be important, especially being that we don't have any idea who the mayor is going to be. You could wind up with somebody who's been a lifelong politician or somebody who's never held public office before. And so I think having somebody in the controller's office who can provide a check and a balance and who understands um, how the city runs would be a benefit um, to all New Yorkers. So what kind of financial experience do you have going into this role, which would be like a finance role? It's the, it's the auditor and the financial person of the city. Yeah, absolutely. I've actually spent most of my time uh, in finance, um, believe it or not. Um, and let me just say this, working on a state, as a state legislator, for almost 16 years, we didn't have a pay raise. So if anybody knows how to balance personal finances, it's me, right? And I have the same kind of uh, problems trying to figure out, you know, how to pay your rent, how to pay your taxes, you know, how to deal with your utilities as anybody else has. And so for me, I think that's the, the thing that makes me most qualified. But, but beyond that, I've actually spent uh, 18 years in the Senate on the Finance Committee. I've been on the, both the Banking Committee and the Insurance Committee for over a decade each. And I've been for 18 years either the chairman or the highest ranking Democrat on the Energy and Telecommunications Committee. And so that work along with you know, working on Wall Street and working for the state controller, I think gives me the kind of experience that makes me more than qualified uh, to be the next city controller. Now, I really loved your compliment before, and I like your bow tie too. So we're both Thank fashionable. You. Thank you. <laughs> so there are a lot of people who are running for this controller seat, and one of them is a colleague of yours in the state Senate as well. So I'm wondering what, what would make you the best candidate to be our next city controller? Well, the, the difference between me and my other colleague who's in the Senate is that I make this look good. Um, but but uh, no, we, we really have uh, a lot of fun uh, together. He's a great guy, somebody we've worked a, a great deal together. And in fact, most of the candidates I've known uh, really well. In fact, some of them I've worked with in previous jobs. Um, one of them is a city council person who we overlap districts. And so we work together on, on various issues. Look, I think there's a lot of really good candidates. Um, again, I think that I'm the best one because I think I have more experience than all of them have. Um, and certainly have more leadership and more vision about where we need to go. Um, elections are about the future. And so I think that it's really about, you know, whose idea about how do we create full-time jobs at a living wage with benefits is important. You know, how we audit the police department and create non-police responses to things like mental health and homeless calls. And certainly how we invest in our young people um, is gonna be absolutely critical. And so I think that my vision around these things is gonna be the difference in, in what voters really need uh, in the next city controller. Now tell us something fun, apart from style, tell us something fun that maybe wouldn't come up on a political interview that you wanna share with everyone about yourself. I'm a really avid roller skater. Um, and some of my friends know this. I've actually in the past had some fundraisers at, at roller skating rinks. Um, uh, but I love the roller skate. It's been, you know, kind of, you know, the way I, I get some exercise, at least. Um, I've been doing it since I was a, a little kid. And not just somebody who goes to rinks, um, but I actually use roller skates as a mean of transportation. Um, and maybe if I get elected to city control, I'll, I'll get around the city a little bit more by roller skates. Now, skates, four wheels, it, four, it's like two by four two wheels. or plane? Uh, look, you see the bow tie? I'm an old school guy. Four <laughs> wheels, uh, and all that rotoblading stuff is not really, you know, uh, you know kind of my thing. <laughs> well, we'd love to skate with you, Senator, and good luck to you. And this was Schneps Media's Three Questions in Three Minutes, and I'm Sky with Politics NY.